Taurus. What's up, Taurus? Hey, my babies, my people, my loves. What's up, babies? All right, so let's get this reading on the wraps. I've been waiting all day to do Taurus, y'all. I have to follow in my little line. You know, I don't like to, but I do. But uh, <laughs> gotta make sure I follow in the path that I set for myself every day or else I'm gonna be all over the place, y'all. All right, so this reading is for the 19th of November through the 26th of November. This is for my beautiful Tauruses. Let's see what we got. I know we done had some ups and downs, some um, complications, some stuff going on. But let's see what we got for this week. Let's see if we got some positive vibes going on. I feel good. So let's see what we got. This is for Taurus. As always, guys, if you would like a personal read, you can hit me up on my email address, intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com. Hey, we got the Queen of Pentacles, y'all. That's us. You know, so that does mean that we maybe need to make some sensible approaches to some things, but that does mean we're finding our grind, our grounding right now. Okay. Um, you can also, also guys, all my prices are in the description. Please subscribe to my channel, guys. I do daily reads and daily deals, and I also have random free reads. So if you want to win one of these free reads, you need to subscribe to my channel so you can get these daily readings. All right. So let's see what we pull in for Taurus, November the 19th through the 26th. Taurus, November the 19th through the 26th. What we got for Taurus, November the 19th through the 26th. Hmm. Don't leave them out. Y'all, I'm so careful when I lay these cards out. What is going on? <laughs> mm. So this is kind of complicated, guys. Let's pull some clarification so I can figure out what the fuck is going on. Come on, come on. You know something good. <laughs> All right, clarification for Taurus. Give me clarification for Taurus for November the 19th. Okay. Clarification for Taurus, November the 19th through the 26th. Give me clarification for Taurus, November the 19th through the 26th. Clarification for Taurus, November the 19th through the 26th. All right, let's see what we got. Underlying energy, not underlying energies are, but we got some stuff going on in the middle of the week that I ain't liking. So let's go ahead and read and see what comes from it. It may not be as bad as I'm thinking and hopefully, you know, it's not because this is mine too. All right. So the underlying energy for our read is the nine of cups. So this represents dreams coming true, concerns fading away, even finding the love of your life, which is, it wouldn't be so bad, you know, it wouldn't be so bad. All right. Underlying energy for clarification, the Ace of Wands. So this is new cr new creative energies coming in. This is new passions coming in, new things starting for us. Um, and it's passionate. It's good. Passion is good, okay? This also could be like a new adventure or a new like journey we're going through, okay? It's good. But you know what? Us Tauruses, when we go through these journeys because we do not like change, it, it don't always go so easy for us, okay? All right. So Sunday, today. We got the seven of cups, y'all. That's my kids screaming. They outside playing. It's like five of them. I got four, and then my nephew here. That was three fingers. I got four, and my nephew here. He all right. Don't stress. He's seven. He just scream when he get upset. He does it. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he get it from me. I don't know. <laughs> all right. So probably. We got the seven of cups. So this represents the need for you to stop procrastinating to make whatever decision it is you need to make. Because this does represent a complex decision. This could represent the fact that you have options, that there's different routes you can take. Um, we also got, for clarification, six of swords. So this represents getting out of a difficult situation. For some of us, it represents us traveling. But this is moving forward with something, releasing things that no longer serve us, and getting out of a difficult situation, or mentally removing ourselves from a difficult situation. But with the Seven of Cups, this could be some of us procrastinating about moving forward, actually. Um, 
Maybe we feel like there's more research we need to do. Maybe we feel like that we need to be more prepared to do it. But the, the Seven of Cups does represent doing more research before actually making a decision. But as always, the Sevens may mean decisions. Sevens represent decisions. So there's a need for you to make a decision on something right now. Stop procrastinating. Stop daydreaming. Actually make the decision and move forward, okay? Especially with that Six of Swords. Monday, we got the lover's card. So this represents intimate relationships, carefully weighing your decisions, even good health. With this king of pentacles right here, the king of pentacles represents the need, um, like the mind is touch, being confident, having confidence. So maybe you're feeling very confident about a love situation, or maybe you're feeling confident about this decision that you're about to make. Um, and this is like... Whatever decision, whatever choice that you're deciding, it's probably the right choice. Because with that King of Pentacles, it does represent confidence. It represents having the Midas touch, accepting opportunities that you're being offered. This could be, for some of us, a new love coming in or someone from a past life. Because the lover also represents like soulmate situations, karmic relationships, um, you know, soul familiar situations. This could be confidently accepting an offer from someone that we've been in some type of situation with either in the past or in a past life. Okay. So Tuesday, we got the Three of Wands. Some of us are waiting for abundance within love, okay? We got the Two of Cups right here. Um, there's uh, abundance coming in. Things looking very good for you. Um, having patience at the time. This could also be making long-term plans. The Two also represents decisions, guys. This also could represent good health, um, concentrating on your health. But this is like a union, bringing things together. Um, and with the lovers being Monday, maybe some of us are dealing with a relationship or some sort of a relationship, um, communication with someone from... Um, the past or someone from the present it could be someone from a past life but this is you waiting for things to unfold or unravel with this situation for those of you that this is not a love situation this could be something that you are very emotionally invested into unraveling in your favor or you're waiting for it to unravel or waiting for the results of something okay this would also be putting in the work or putting in um putting in the work i had to look at my chain of events because this is my week too you feel me? I had to see what was going on, but we finna go down the line. All right. So Wednesday, we got the Page of Swords. This does represent challenging information. It does represent delays, changes to plans. It also represents finding out the truth about something. And with this Eight of Swords, this could be feeling trapped in the situation. This could be feeling like you have no other option but to deal with whatever you got to deal with. Um, this could be you fighting your own inner demons in a situation, um, especially with this Page of Air, because this could be you finding out the truth about something and feeling trapped by it or feeling mentally stuck in a situation. Hold on. Hold on a second. Y'all, I had to cuss at my kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like to cuss at them now, but they just made me mad. Busting through the door playing basketball in my house. Come on now. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know, Tauruses don't play about the house. All right. So, Thursday, this is where it kind of gets sticky for us guys. Thursday, we got the Three of Swords. So this represents great sadness, taking the time to heal, the need to forgive someone. We also got the Nine of Wands right here. So this represents not giving up, standing up for that which you believe, having confidence in yourself, um, protecting that which you have created. Whatever this situation is between whatever you're finding out Wednesday, whatever we're finding out Wednesday, it's going to have us feeling trapped, going to have us feeling kind of helpless, okay? But by Thursday, we're going to be like, look. We need to talk about this. We need to figure out what's going on. I don't know if this is a relationship. Whatever this is, we need to talk about this, figure out what's going on. Stand your ground, Taurus. And you know we don't have a problem doing that. We're going to stand our ground and say what we feel, even though sometimes we try not to be so mean. Me especially. I try to be positive, and, and I'm always positive, y'all. So I'm, even when I get mad, I try to bring it in, all right? Um, but this could be us not lashing out because you know we will that bull that raging bull is nothing to play with but this is us kind of taking it in accepting whatever it is guys accepting it standing up for ourselves having confidence in our words and our abilities and our and who we are and actually moving forward whether it's with this situation or without it okay so Friday, we got the King of Swords. This represents speaking your mind, okay? This represents speaking your mind with confidence. This represents seeking out help um, in a situation, balancing your mentals and your emotional considerations. This represents you being impartial, professional, and even diplomatic about the situation, okay? With the Five of Cups, maybe you're not seeing the positive of the situation, and, and you know, you're going to say it. So this could be like a warning for us to not lash out guys don't lash out all right um, this could be if there's any healing that needs to take place heal from the situation forgive whoever and move on you can't change the past you can't change what anyone else does 
if I can get these words out. You can't, my tongue stopped working, y'all, in the middle of a sentence. It stopped working. It happens. But this is us not being able to change whatever happened, whatever is, actually accepting whatever's going on Friday and moving forward, okay? Saturday, we got the Page of Wands. I mean, the Page of Cups. So this represents a new person entering your life, a relationship, again, a new phase, heightened psychic abilities. With the Nine of Cups, this could be whoever this person coming in, because this is someone coming in offering um, themselves to you, offering you a relationship. This could be the love of your life. This could be the person that you've been waiting for. Um, if this is not a person, if this is you moving from a different, from a situation, and it may not be a person coming in, it could be you. This can be you offering yourself to yourself, offering love to yourself. Like, look, everyone else doing this. Everyone else ain't loving me the way I feel like I should be loved. So this is me loving myself. And with this nine of cups, this is your concerns for fading away in regards to the situation. For some of us, this is a person coming in. And for other of us, this is us. Okay. This is us putting that love back into us. Y'all see, I broke my nail. It's ridiculous. It hurt too. This is us bringing, putting that love back into us instead of spreading that love out to everyone else. And spreading that love out to people who don't appreciate it. Take that same love that you got. And I know my source has got love. Oh my gosh, I got so much love in y'all. Put it towards yourself. Show yourself some love. Show yourself some gratitude. Show yourself some appreciation. All that hard work and dedication that you put into relationships and other people, put it into yourself, Taurus. Watch how your life change, okay? Sunday, we got the seven of some, the seven of some. We got the seven of wands. So this represents defending your beliefs and decisions, standing your ground, choosing your battles wisely. And with this queen of wands, this could be you wanting to move in a new direction or just take wings and take flight and actually do something that you want to do. Be free. Free yourself a little bit. This is also having a lot of confidence in your abilities and understanding that whatever you choose is right for you and no one else, okay? The two cards that popped out was the queen of cups. So this represents nurturing yourself, okay? Nurturing yourself, starting with yourself. This also could be a relationship that develops to a new level. For some of us, um, there is a relationship this week. And you may be finding out bad information in the middle of the week about this relationship. But this could be talking it through, arguing it through, however you get your point across. And then by the end of the week, kind of choosing whether or not you want to be in this relationship or not. Um, with the King of Pentacles, this also represents a successful time, comfortably accepting the opportunities that you've been being presented, because some of you are being presented, some of us are being presented um, with a relationship that's worth having. Some of us are needed to forgive and move past a relationship so that you can start to love yourself and, and really put that focus back into your life. This is also having the Midas touch. So whatever it is you wanted to do, if you're wanting to start something, do something um, different in your life, now is the time, especially with this Queen of Wands. This is spreading your wings and doing what's right for you, okay? So let's pull these up, Taurus. You know, I get hmm, all into these Taurus reads because, you know, I love my Tauruses. I love my Taurus. I do. Y'all know I'm a Taurus. Y'all know I'm a Taurus. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Let's get it. All right. So let's pull from the Goddess Guidance Oracle card so we can see what messages we have for Taurus. What messages do we have for Taurus for the week of November the 19th through the 26th? Messages for Taurus. Mmm. 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 Taurus. Woo. Okay. So the first two cards are called. Actually, let me pull another one because I got to come all the way down, y'all. I got to come all the way down. I've been waiting on this. All right, give me one more. One more for Taurus. November the 19th through the 26th. Give me one more for Taurus. November the 19th through the 26th. Oh, my gosh. All right, so don't back down, Taurus, okay? You are going to have to stand up for your beliefs. You're going to have to speak your truth. You're going to have to say how you really feel, okay? This is mandatory. This week, you're going to have to express truly how you feel and actually choose. When I say choose, I don't mean like, I think I want this. I think I want that actually make a concrete decision on what it is that you want if you got to write a plan if you got to put that shit in writing put it on paper or put it in um, record it on your phone whatever it is make a plan put it on paper make it solid okay and follow it follow through with it Taurus because now is the time okay it's time for you to manifest what you want in your life right now today right now you can stop the video and I don't want you to but you can stop the video and do this baby whatever it takes I pause do what you got to do, okay? Because it's time for you to change your life, Taurus. Now, 
to these cards. So the first two cards that popped out was True Love and Past Life. So this is a Twin Flames um, union. This is a soulmate union. It says the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. And you also got Past Life. So it says this situation involves Past Life memories. So we're talking about soul union, soul um, soulmate, Twin Flame so familiar union okay this could be possibly a karmic situation but the way these cards are falling out this is a soulmate situation so some of you guys and i hope i'm included in this are finding your soulmate finding your life partner the person that you're destined to be with which will be awesome because i'm so tired of being alone I'm so okay y'all let me stop all right so we got a leap of faith this is taking a leap of faith guys it's taking a risk, putting your heart's true desire into action. But in order for you to put your heart's true desire into action, you got to know what the hell you want. So this is really speaking to us, guys. This is telling us, figure it out, figure out what you want, okay? Put it down, write it down. Even if what you, if what you want is a man, okay? If what you want is a woman, guess what? Put it on paper. I want a woman. I want her to have that, 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 that. I don't want her to have that, 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 okay? It may not come out the way like that when you meet them but if you put out what you really desire and what you really want and not just what you want but what you need it's gonna come back tenfold you after you after you after i can't say have to for some reason when i want to i have to slow down and pronunciate it you have to be clear with your intentions you have to be clear with your desires you can't just throw something out there and expect it to come to you you have to be clear and actually move within that path so whatever it is that you want you have to put it on paper put it out into the universe and actually move with your desires okay it's not gonna come to you if you just put it out and forget about it okay that's that's magic guys i don't know if you know that that's what magic is setting your intentions and pushing forward okay so we got unconditional love. Whatever situation it is, whatever you dealt with, if you're leaving a situation that no longer serves you, you need to understand the love to love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outer appearance may be. And this could be that this past life or this true love situation may not be what you thought it was going to be for you. It could be something totally different, but this is a definite message for you to accept all. Release judgments. Accept if you want someone to love you for who you are, you have to love them for who they are, okay? And you also must love yourself. So what I spoke earlier about taking care of yourself and Taurus, I don't know where it's coming from this month because this is not the first read I've done. Literally, all these emotions and all these feelings that I'm feeling right now, someone needs to hear this. So I know it's got to come out. So I'm going to speak it, okay? And whoever it's for, baby, I'm here because we all go through it, okay? Love yourself unconditionally. Love yourself unconditionally. Don't worry about nobody else loving you because when you love yourself unconditionally, somebody gonna see that and they gonna wanna give you even more love because they gonna love the fact that you love yourself regardless of what situation you're in. I don't care what you got going on. Y'all don't understand. I'm a single mother of four kids. You understand what I'm saying? I take care of my kids on my own, work two jobs and do this. So understand me when I tell you, when you love yourself, it doesn't matter what nobody else does. It doesn't matter who there for you, who ain't there for you, who love you, who don't love you, who like you, who don't like you, who's talking about you, who ain't talking about you. All that matters is what you are putting into your life, what you are putting into your love, and the, putting into your heart, putting into your mind. What are you making your reality right now? Are you making your reality what you want it to be? Or are you sulking in, in sadness and letting things happen to you and letting your reality control you? You control your reality. Take control. Love yourself unconditionally. Stop pushing for everyone else to love you and push for yourself to love you, okay? The last card I'm going to say, because this card is dear to my heart. It's so dear to my heart, guys. I'm all about peace. I'm all about bringing calmness to a situation. Even though I'm a bull and I got fire in me like no other, I understand the value of having peace in your life. Trust me. I'll do a video on, on, on me, but I do understand the value of having peace in your life. And baby, let me tell you something. There is nothing like having peace. There is nothing like having calm in your life. There is nothing like not having to go back and forth with somebody about decisions that they're making, decisions that you're making. There's nothing better than having peace in your life. So for those of my Tauruses that are single right now, baby, be happy to be single. It's okay, okay? No one can love you like you, but you got to love you. Okay? If you don't love yourself, you're going to be unhappy when you when you buy yourself. It literally says, there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. Stop worrying, guys, okay? So, release all that. Get the messages out to my Tauruses. This is all I got, babe. So, until next week, Tauruses, I love you so much. Y'all have a good night.